Welcome to the Choose You Netcast. This is Jim Langlois with the word from Joshua 24, 15. Choose you this day whom you will serve, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's my prayer that this netcast will encourage and cheer you on as we join forces to draw the line in the sand, defending our faith and our households in the resurrection power of Jesus. Join me each weekday as we dig deeply into God's amazing word and bring up the rich treasures of his blessings. Are you ready? Choose you this day whom you will serve. But that's for me and my house, me and my house, me and my house. I said, choose you this day whom you will serve. But that's for me and my house, me and my house, me and my house. Good morning, NetWorld, and thank you for tuning in. I have a message today that's titled, Got Zawapaweo? And that's with a question mark. What is Zawapaweo? Well, let me read you the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11, in the King James Version. It says, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Well, two words I want to study in this verse, first being spirit and the second being quicken. The word spirit is a capital S, and it's the Greek word pneuma, meaning spirit or breath. This word is used for both God and man, and most Bible translations delineate between the two by using a capital S for the spirit of God and a small s for the spirit of man. Well, God is a spirit, and we're created in his image. He breathed in us the breath of life. So this word spirit is the Greek word pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A, meaning spirit or breath. The word quicken used here is a compound Greek word. It's from the Greek word zoe, meaning life, and this is where we get the English word zoo, and the Greek word poeo, which is P-O-I-E-O, meaning to cause or to make. So when we put them together, this word zoapoeo means to make alive, or to cause life. Romans 8.11 is not about us being born naturally, for Paul is speaking to people who are already alive. He's talking about those who have been born again. When we receive Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we receive his spirit within our spirit. And if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us, it will quicken or give life even to our mortal body, mortal meaning subject to death. I'll say that again. If the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us, it will quicken or zoapoeo. It'll give life even to our mortal or subject to death body. So got zoapoeo? I hope you do. I do. If we want zoapoeo, we must first be born again. Not born naturally, for we have already done that. But we must be born spiritually. Other terms for this would be to be saved or to accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. Another way to put it would be to pray a sinner's prayer or to become a Christian. The term born again literally means to be born from above. It's when we accept God as our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, as our personal Lord and Savior. It's also when his Holy Spirit, that's capital S, comes to dwell in our spirit, that's a small s, empowering us to gain victories in our life that we could never accomplish before. So how does one get born again and receive this Zawapa way of life, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead? Well, it's simple, and it's based on Romans 10, 9 through 10, and 13. Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Well, let's look at that. Two things are involved, our mouth and our heart. We must confess with our mouth and believe in our heart. And verse 10 says the same thing. For with the heart, one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And then, of course, in verse 13 for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I like to say it this way. Believing is not enough. 
you must also confess Christ, ask him to come into your heart, forgive you your sins, and receive him as your Lord. Again, Romans 8, 11, But if the Spirit, capital S, of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken, or that zoopoeo, your mortal bodies, by his Spirit that dwelleth in you, he will give life. Quicken is the Greek word zoopoeo, and I love zoopoeo, to be so spiritually alive that it even affects our physical body. Let me tell you how I received zoopoeo. Back in 1978 and early 1979, I was not happy with myself or my life. I was 25 years old, living a life of alcohol, drugs, and girls. I mistreated people. I had no future and could not see how to be the person I always wanted to be. I tried automatic handwriting, which was where we contacted the dead for wisdom and advice. And then I tried transcendental meditation for some sort of inner peace. I was very dedicated to my attempts, but nothing worked. There was no change. One day, while walking the beach in Panama City, Florida, a friend told me, what you need is Jesus. Well, I believed in Jesus, but I didn't know anything about him. I knew my friend was right, but I did not know how to find Jesus. But then, on Sunday, February 4th, 1979, I was attending a church called Rock Church in Virginia Beach. The minister gave an altar call for those who wanted to come forward and receive Christ. I didn't go up. I was greatly disappointed with my weakness and fear, and on the way back home, I decided to go back next Sunday and do what I really wanted to do. So the very next Sunday, which was February 11th, 1979, I went forward. I repented of my sins. I gave my heart to Jesus. I received him into my life, and I've never been the same. So the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead came to dwell in me, and I was born again. I got zoopoeo. <laughs> I write this today saying, yes, the spirit of God came to dwell in me and changed my life. And it's now about 37 years later, and it's still the best decision I've ever made. Do you have zoopoeo? If not, would you like to be born again? Would you like to find Jesus? If so, pray this prayer. Say, Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you to forgive me and come into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for giving me eternal life. And thank you for helping me to be the person I so desire to be. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer for the first time, then write down this date and never forget it. Also, please let me know. Write to me at pastorjim at tmhnow.org and let me know that you just received Jesus as your Lord. Wow, what great news. Romans 8, 11 again, in the King James Version. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. The word quicken is the Greek word zoopoeo. Isn't zoopoeo great to be given life by God, life, his spirit dwelling in your spirit, the same life that raised Christ from the dead? I love it. Can this really affect our mortal bodies too? Well, mortal bodies, this means we have a body that's subject to death. We all know we'll die physically one day. Being born again means we are spiritually reborn and have inherited eternal life. It means we are now an immortal being spiritually. But how does this affect our mortal bodies? Well, in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. This same spirit, this same power, this zoopoeo can also heal you of sickness and disease. 1 Peter 2.24 says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, and here you go, by whose stripes you were healed. Zoopoeo, isn't it great? Shouldn't we share it with others? 
Well, Mark 16, 15 through 20, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In other words, let them know about Zawapaweo. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. In other words, they'll receive the Zawapaweo. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And then it goes on saying, and these signs will follow those who believe. First, in my name, they will cast out demons. Second, they will speak with new tongues. Third, they will take up serpents. Fourth, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Fifth, they'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And the scripture says, so then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Well, what are the accompanying signs? Well, how about this? They cast out demons. They speak with new tongues. They took up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. And they will lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Well, yes, we should share it. How? By telling others about Jesus, by casting out devils, by speaking with new tongues, by laying hands on the sick. Are these signs real? Yes, but they only follow those who believe. Well, are you a believer? Do you have Zuapaweo? Well, if so, share it. It's a life of God in our hearts, and it affects our physical bodies. Romans 8.11, the King James Version. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Quicken. It's a compound word, zu, z-o-o, and poeo. Zu meaning life, and poeo means to give. Think about the word zoo as opposed to the word museum. What happens when you go into a museum? You could see all kinds of animals, but they're all dead. But what if you go into a zoo? You can see all kinds of animals, and they're all alive and well. Zoopoeo is a word meaning that God gives us life, and he gives us life to our spirit that actually affects our physical body. It will quicken or bring life to our physical body. And this Zawapaweo can be transferred to other people through the laying on of hands. As we read in Mark chapter 16, we could lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. And also in the book of James chapter 5, it says, Is anyone sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he's committed any sins, they'll be forgiven. Is that the power of God? Well, I call it Zoapaweo. Hey, got Zoapaweo? It's a whole lot better than milk. Our time today is up again, so we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. I call you blessed. You have been listening to the Choose You Netcast with Jim Langlois. If you have enjoyed this program, you can find out more about Jim Langwa Ministries on the Master's House website at tmhnow.org. That's tmhnow.org. On the media tab, you can listen to many more messages, subscribe to my daily devotional emails, and follow the link to my blog site. If you'd like to write me or become a financial partner with this ministry, my address is the Master's House, Post Office Box 1568, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23116. That's the Master's House, Post Office Box 1568, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23116. Online donations can also be made at tmhnow.org, and my email address is pastorjim at tmhnow.org. This is Jim Langlois saying be blessed, you and your whole household. Until next time. Choose you this day, but well, that's for me and my house, me and my house, me and my house.